Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi. Today, I'm really excited because we have Coach Charlie Bartell, and he is an amazing gentleman. He is uh, wonderful. He has so much knowledge to share. Um, he is actually, um, he, he had overcome Asperger's. He is just an, an amazing, powerful person who has um, really rose above the chaos. He's overcome his obstacles, and now he is accomplishing a lot of things in his life. And today he wanted to talk about mindset and how it's not just learning how to change your mindset, but it's also about taking action. And he's going to go more into detail about that. So Charlie, welcome to back to the show. And before we begin, I want to let everybody know that Charlie is also part of our podcast community, and he also has a podcast with us. So if you want to go onto his po podcast, just type in his name and you'll see all his podcasts and you can listen to all his shows and you'll really get a lot from it. So Charlie, tell everybody about yourself. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm very excited to have you back. You know, let everybody know who you are and what you do. And, and I'd love it to learn more about this topic. Thank you. Thank you, Stacey. Uh, my name is Charlie. I am I am a currently a coach, but I'm also a Asperger pro professional. And currently I am I'm building my my business, but I'm also working with a organization called Invisio where they where they change people's lives and they really make people people's they make a difference to a lot of people. So my current position, my profession is a business system analyst, and I go and do the research to find the right tools, resources, and strategies for what my boss is looking for. So, so uh, a real world example, of what what we have done is, uh, I would, I would try to research. Uh, two plugins, two plugins for a WordPress website. So, I would, I would research these two plugins that would create, create courses, and one of them is Tutor LMS and Master Study. So, so my boss wanted me to, wanted me to find the pros and cons about these plugins. So I would I would go and do research and try to try to try to see try to go in depth to these plugins. So I so I found a couple couple things that that were that were comparable but they were also separated from each other. So so of course they do create courses. That's that's definitely obvious. Obvious to most people. But what's step what's what separates to both of them is Tudor Elmas had more features. It had more features than than Master Study. And it probably had more more unique features than most of the course creation plugins. But master study was cheaper and it was user friendly. So that might be that might be something that a lot of people would prefer choosing if they want easy to use. But to me, I had to choose to do LMS because because of those features. Of course, it costed it costs around depends on how what edition you get. But there's a pro version, and you have to pay around four hundred dollars. Definitely not cheap, but it definitely pays it off for. It just it pays your wage to create a great academy website. So, so now I show the results to my boss, and I I show, and she. She determines she determines if my results is gonna be gonna be it. So sometimes she would want me to go back and do more research because she would do her own research 
in her own time, and she might find more more plugins that might be might be a competitive to Tudor LMS. So, so I would go and do more research on the extra plugins. And once I did compare them, then that means that then I would I would do I would show more of the results and that's where our boss did chose to LMS because there was the big dog. The big dog for creating the courses. But definitely I I have definitely learned that I definitely learned through the times of just spending with her, we she she showed me her her material that really helped me, really mm -hmm. developed myself and just grow as a person, just a professional. Yeah. So she showed me this 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 learning method. And this learning method is this learning method is it goes to it goes to no own show, but she she changed the word to to own to to grow because because when you when you think about it, no is you're doing the research and you're comparing the two things. Right. And grow is you are you are trying to make a decision to 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 think those two things to see what is going to be better right. and what's going to be convenient to you. And you just, you just grow into it, just build the knowledge to that. So, and show is we are going to, we're going to, we're going to impelment this to our project. So, but I believe that really helped me do do research and just trying to trying to like I said compare two things. Mm -hmm. So and definitely there's more to that. That what I've learned is I've learned how do we people get to mm -hmm. their objectives, build leadership, and just give give people value. Give my give my boss value. Which is very crucial. So, and I believe at the end, I believe that it really, it really taught me so much that I should never let it go. And I think it definitely can go a long ways. It could definitely go a long ways for anyone that I work with in their shape or form with their abilities, whether they're working in whatever department they're working in. I think it's going to go a long way. So, now you talked about mindset. Now, you know, going through Asperger right. you know, was challenging, and you know, you had to overcome a lot of things. And you know, just like me, who I have epilepsy, you know, it, I had to overcome a lot of challenges in life. Now, you you had to probably change your mindset on how you look at life, how you deal with problems, how how to overcome obstacles that came your way. Now, you know, you talk about mindset and you talk about not only changing mindset but change you have to take action because you can change your mindset but then if you don't do anything about it it's not you know you're you're not going to achieve your goals now for right. you you know what what kind of changes did you make in in your in your life in your mindset you know to help you you know move forward in life and really reach your goals and accomplish the things in life that you want to accomplish you know, how did you take action? So what kind of changes did you make in your mindset? And what did you do to actually overcome and, and be able to actually achieve those things? Yeah. So what you, so what I did is every time you, if I would get stressed out, I would always try to think of the situation. You have to always Think of the problems of what you're dealing with. So, so before you take action, before you take action to try to deal with it, what you need to do is you need to plan. And planning is 
so crucial. You will literally get yourself prepared for the unexpected. Mm-hmm. So, so my my boss, my boss has it, it, this. This question is definitely relatable because because my boss has has taught me this. Uh, these three methods, and these these. This is where you're in the journey. You're you're going through life, and you're just just finding where you belong in. So, yeah. so I would learn. I this is in her material. So, so in the material, it shows that the first one is situation awareness. And I think I talked about this in the in the podcast, but I'm just going to say it again. Mm-hmm. Situation awareness. So situation awareness is you are you are aware of the challenges and you're you 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 expect the unexpected. And and strategic position is finding your true passion and purpose. Right. So, yeah. So, so you just, you just pretty much just build a, the skill set and mindset to, to, to figure out what you really truly want and how are you going to live through life in this, this position that you want the most. Right. The third one is, is coping mechanism. So this is where you would have to have the things that you need in your journey to go yeah. through these challenges. Right. So you have to have the, like I said, you have to have the, the right tools, resources, and strategies to thrive. Right. So, so you, if you wanted to change your mood, you would do the brain chemicals. Mm-hmm. So, which is going to, which is, the brain chemicals is is dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, endorphin, and melatonin, and those are the five brain chemicals that 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 you actually need to change your mood in yeah. your situation. So that will pretty much build that mindset. That will that will build the mindset where you you'll you build yourself up to become unstoppable. Yeah. And and no one will won't be able to take that away from you. Yes. So absolutely you have always got to you always have got to always have got a plan. Mm-hmm. Plan before taking action. Because if you take action, you're going to be lost. Right. And that's not going to be that pretty. Right. So always plan before taking action. Now, when you create a plan, it could, and some people might say, well, how do I create a plan? Like, what do I do? You know, can you describe mm-hmm. the plan that you use, like how you created it and, and give people an idea that, that want to create a plan, they want to change their mindset and they want to be able to, you know, take, eventually take action. Um, what type of plan are you talking about? Like, you know, how should they do it? If you were to explain that plan to other people. Yeah. So this this is this is very useful. This is very useful in project management. But if you don't know a lot about that, there's another option. This is called and I and you've definitely you definitely know this. It's called the smart goal. Mm-hmm. So this is this is going to help you get to your objective. So so what I would do is if I was that person, I would write down, I would write down a checklist. I would write down a checklist to the things that they want. Mm-hmm. And once they do, now they have to now they have to go in depth, in depth to what they want. Mm-hmm. Cause 
they want to make sure that they go deeper into the 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 projects that they want to work at work with right because one project might not go well so you have to go in a little bit details go deeper 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 into right. that into that project you want to work with because you might be able to save a lot of time and right. you'll you'll expect that this this won't work out for you right so once you've done that now you're now you'll be able to set up the smart goal and the smart goal is with with the s is is situation which is trying to know trying to know what you what you wanted to achieve so you wrote down the list of projects now right. you need to and that's going to align with the situation you have to know is this going to be achievable so right. the m is measurable which is which is going to, like I said, determine if you're capable of getting to that, and to see how that can go in in the future. Right. And the A is action. So now you're gonna go take action. So you've you've just planned. Now you're gonna go take action. You're gonna go and you're gonna go and do that work to get to to get the project started so right. to get to your goal to try to start your goal so and you might have to you might have to break it apart the what you're trying to achieve right and and the r is relatable so you would you would have to see you would have to you would have to always check up on the 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 project that you're working on so right. mhm mm yeah so and t is is timeline so this is going to be expected what's the deadline so you're going to really cuz you have to always have a deadline because mm -hmm. if you if you don't have a deadline you're you're not going to get it done sooner. How did right. it, having a deadline is so crucial because you'll be motivated to actually get the to get it done, and you and you feel you want to get it done, right? So, so yeah. If if I if I was them, how you create a plan? You would use a you would use the smart goal. Well, first thing you would write down what you want. And you might have to go deeper to that. Right. Then you would try to create that smart goal. But but I definitely I definitely explained it, but I won't be hundred percent sure, but I definitely I like like I said, I try to do my best. So Right. And I think yeah. that's all you can do. But it, you know, having this having this plan, having an objective you know, have, you know, looking at the situation, you know, you know, looking at the, the, you know, is it measurable, you know, go, go, take an action, being reliable, looking at the timeline, it really, right. it really, it really gives you, um, you know, it really breaks it down. So you really know exactly what you need to do. It's a very, it, it's a very structured and very organized plan. And it, I think it's great too, you know, because you can keep your priorities in line also, you know, you're, you're, right exactly what you need to do and you know you know we, you, you can't you know so you don't let other things interfere you know it keeps you mm -hmm. on on guard you know which i think is is really good i think i think you know it, a lot of people need that because i think some right. of the problems is that people get off track you know and right. that's what those people, you know, um, you know, they have a mindset, they have an idea, they have goals, you know, and, and they, they want to change, you know, their mindset and, and they want to achieve this and they want to achieve that and they want to accomplish this, but you need a sustainable plan. Like you mentioned, right. you know, that's a sustainable plan that really organizes it and keeps, you know, 
kind of like time management. It keeps it all in, intertwined. And so you're, you prioritize your, your time properly, mm -hmm. exactly what you need to do. It's probably good, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, that you said to write everything down, like to keep some type of journal or some type of notebook where you, you know, you make goals for yourself and you are projects that you need to complete. And you just go, you know, you use that smart, you know, plan and, you know, and you go by it and, you know, you'll be able to take that course. That's your course of action, it seems, you know, and you'll be mm -hmm. able to achieve it. You might not, like you said, you know, you might not achieve a hundred percent. You might not, you know, get exactly what you want to get, but it looks from, from, from looking at it, you will achieve a good majority of it and whatever, right. you know, I say whatever you, you don't you know whatever you're unable to do you always can go back to it and try to complete it either another day or if it's not something that's attainable 100 percent, you know you you learn from it you know and you right. realize you know okay you know i i gave it my best shot you know i got a lot accomplished you know but it didn't take me exactly where i want to go but it, you know, it really, it, it helped me learn this and it helped me learn that, or it, you know, I got this much done and it, it brought me to this area, you know, so there's a lot of good stuff that comes out from this program. It really mm -hmm. seems. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very, it's very crucial. You always have got to, you always got to structure it. It's, it's like building your, it's like building the the Legos. You're building yeah. Legos. Yeah, yeah. So you're <laughs> you're putting the you're putting Legos together to build that that Lego piece. Right. So, but when you when you when you put the wrong pieces, your the wrong Legos, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be a a full structured Lego piece. Right. So Always make sure that what you want to achieve, everything's going to be connected. Right. So, because you might, what, because you, you might not uh, achieve it. You, you could just be, you, you could just do something different. So, good example is if you're trying to lose weight or you want to build the body of your dreams. Mm hmm well, that's that's great, but do you have the hard working skills? And if you don't, you feel like you can't you can't do it, and you not you're not motivated, then you shouldn't do it. It's right. it just wouldn't it just wouldn't work for you, right? And I think a lot of people, a lot of people like me, don't have the time to exercise because I just mostly just focused on just trying to do what I enjoy, which is yeah. trying to help people become right. a reader. So, and I am considered a reader because I, I, I get to people's objectives. Mm -hmm. So. That's, that's amazing. You know, I, I think mm -hmm. what you're doing is great. So you work with a lot of different people and you probably help a lot of different people in many ways. Yes. Yes. I, I'm hoping that I can, I can actually help people around the world and I'm hoping I'm hoping that I can help people whether they are a client, professional, or a business owner. Because I definitely want to work with anyone in their shape or form, in their abilities, like I said, and just be able to have the freedom. To, to explore, explore the people that I work with. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm doing that right now. I just, I just, I just feel that, that really, if you are stuck in a position, you can't, you have to do these, these tasks, like you're restricted to do them. Yeah. But to me, that's what, but to me, I want just that freedom of choice. Right. So, so I believe that, that I believe that I wouldn't really do well in the military because the military is very strict. You have mm -hmm. to, you have to, 
you have to obey these these commands from your from these sergeants and these generals and just the people that wanna wanna really try to get you down. And it's it's definitely not a lot of people, but it's probably for some. But I know that my my buddy is soon he's gonna go into the air force and he's gonna pursue in security and you know like, good for him i mean you know he's gotta do what he's gotta do so i'm not gonna stop him so it seems like everybody has their own personality and and really what you know what works for some may not work for others you know but right. um you know it, it it's uh Really, you know, it, it it all depends on on who you are and and what your you know what your goals and your aspirations are, you know, because um, you know sometimes you know people think that everybody should be like them or you know think like them or do like them, and you know it took me a while to realize myself that you know everybody's different, and you know what works for one person may not work for the other person, you know, um, but you have to surround yourself by people who think like you, and right. people are you know high achievers so you you draw off each other's energy you know and, and it helps build you as a person too and um you know so i you know so it seems like you know when it comes to a lot of the different things that we're talking about if you really had to like you know look at our conversation today and you know um really pick out some important pointers what would you like to emphasize to the listeners today yeah what 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 would i what would i want them to what would i want them to point out yeah like you know some of the things that they, we talked about today we talked about mindset we talked about right. how to take action and then right. you, you went over all these different strategies on you know and you explain each one of them to us and how we could actually you know change our mindset and then how we could actually take action, you know, and you showed us exactly all the different steps and how to take action so we could not only change our mindset, but actually do it so we achieve our goals and our object objectives. So if you had to like, if you had to look at everything you said today, what are some important things you'd want people to remember about our conversation? Yeah, just always try to, always try to, like you said, surround the people you're with get, and make sure you stay with those people because they are going to matter the most and they're going to teach you a lot. So, because right. these people have more experience than you. Right. And, and honestly, experience really matters. You need to go out there and do the work, like get the experience. Not mm -hmm. just the education, getting the degree, but actually getting the hands-on. Very crucial. Yes. And, and definitely there there is a there is a there's a saying. There's a saying. If what's the saying? If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. And right. that is very true because I've worked at I've worked at a couple of a couple of couple of minimum wage jobs. Mm -hmm. I worked at Safeway and Papa Murphy's, and this was like a couple couple months ago, probably the beginning of twenty twenty four. But mm -hmm. I just didn't. Everybody didn't relate to me. Right. And it felt like I felt alone inside. Yeah. And it's was, it was just very depressing. It's see, you have to you have to always be with the people that re, that will relate to you. Right. That's why I I have I have a couple people that are that are incredible to me and they just they don't wanna leave me behind. I yeah. Today, I recently just, I recently just helped out someone, someone's house. Uh, he, he wanted me to do some gardening work and, and just after the day, 
you just thought that I was doing a good job. Right. But really the point to what I wanted to do, why I wanted to help him out is because that he is putting faith in me. Right. And that's what matters. He, he, he talked to me on the phone, just how amazing I am, just how wise I am, mm -hmm. just, just how I say, just my knowledge and everything. Yeah. My background, you know, all that good stuff. He said that he will really take me to Stanford University. And I believe that is, that has got to be the greatest thing that I could ever get. Yeah. It it I... really shows that when you be when you when you're when you're with people like that with the same mindset as you, they can give you so much. Give yeah. you what you truly need. Yes. And it can definitely go a long ways away. So always try to be with the people that will will literally matter to you. And not mm -hmm. just people that will not matter to you because because people will just see you in a blink of an eye and they're, now they're gone. Right, right. And it's, it really can, it makes a big impact of what people you choose. Yes. So, yeah. So that's, that is my opinion. Mm -hmm. Just, just go out there. Try to network with people and just be with that group of people because they'll make a big, they'll, they'll create opportunities for you and you'll create opportunities for them. Oh, I believe that 100%. I, I, I think that's great advice. Now, what services do you provide for people? Can you share some of the services that you provide for people? Yeah. So the services that I provide is I provide IT. So I could definitely do computer repairs and do troubleshooting on websites mm -hmm. and business. So I will help people with business development, how they can grow their business and how can they bring clients in mm -hmm. and what they need in their business and how they can make money. And I... And also, I offer self improvement, so I've I've definitely taught some good advice. So I know that I could definitely do self improvement for for definitely a lot of people. And I do HR, so I will help people get to their dream career, develop their resume and their cover letter, and just making sure they can get prepared to their upcoming career or their or whether they want to get a what is that called a employment a you, yeah. you know what i mean just just get yeah. a an employment to get a higher up position yes mm -hmm. yeah so they'll be promoted lastly i I offer AI. So I I I definitely offer service for teach people how to how to be how to give prompts to AI. Mm -hmm. And just really knowing how you can use AI as a great tool and how you can create so much with AI. So I could definitely teach you how to use Copilot, Gemini, ChatGPT. And just a bunch of AI AI models that would be worth it to go into. So, but yeah, I, I definitely offer those services. Now, now, I might not be perfect in what I'm doing, but but I'm always I'm always an active learner. So I I keep learning as I go. So I'm still like one of those students, those you know, those people that want to get to their objectives, whether they want to go into the computer industry, build their own business, help people get to their dream career. And just... Did 
to build prompts and mm -hmm. and you can also probably develop your own AIs. So you could probably use chat GPT to create your own GPTs. Mm -hmm. So you could definitely use that for your own website and your business. Very, very handy. But yeah, I I might not be might not be perfect in these these skill sets, but at least I'm being an active learner. So that's my service. So And I and also I want also to, and I'm I also gonna... oh go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, that's what you're saying. Uh I also I, I forgot to mention I also sell and and I teach. So not only I give service, but I also but I also teach and sell. So and what what type of things do you use uh teach and sell? I well for selling I I pretty much I have I have knowledge of gaming consoles so a really great console that I am very expertise and I think a lot of grown-ups are not going to really know this console but I grew up with it so and my parents gave bought me it so it's the it's the original Xbox. It's it's the first console from Microsoft and and it's a yeah, it's it's definitely a console that I grew up with. I love it. I love it to this day. Uh I have the knowledge to to modify it to to make it better. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna absolutely add more games to it and just add a lot of features to it. And right. I could definitely Get a console probably on eBay where the disc tray is jammed. So I mm -hmm. will probably I I can definitely fix that easily. So right. yeah, because of my IT expertise. So right. I would just go and just unscrew, just take it to pieces out and get into the the optical drive and and just get in get into just seeing the what needs to be fit so there is a rubber band that there's a rubber band that that moves the gears of the disc tray so right. so i definitely will maybe replace it or fix it up by boiling the water and putting the rubber band in there so and i you have a functional dvd a functional optical drive in the retro ad spots that can open and close. And and it only costs fifty dollars. And I I put more storage. So I put I put more storage. I put a two terabyte hard drive and and I try to clean it up and just make it look professional and just look it more nicer. And right. Combined with the hard drive and the Richard Xbox, it costs around a hundred dollars. So now I priced it around two hundred dollars to to get more profit out of it. So right. yeah, so that is that's my that's my way of sewing. There there might be there might be more ways of sewing, but I'm always thinking I'm always thinking of what I could sell how and. What's what's the options that I have, the opportunities I have? Now for teaching, definitely it's gonna be creating courses. And I'm definitely going to I'm definitely developing my own courses. So recently I'm trying to develop my IT course. So I'm going to gonna make sure that this course is gonna be the fundamentals of IT. Whether someone wants to learn about computers and wants to use it for their business, yeah, or they just want to use it in their daily life or something, right. or maybe it's their maybe it's their requirement in the company, the their position, they're they're asking, yeah, you know. So, whatever is the case, I'm always going to give. I'm always going to give that course to them, and then just teach them. That also is related to selling the course. So, but I definitely will have 
other courses around, but but I have to develop my own website, which I haven't done yet, but I will pretty soon. So I will definitely do it pretty soon. But but if anyone wants to contact me, you you're free to do so. I will probably talk about my contact info at the end. So so yeah, that's that's what that's what I can get for my service and sell so, and teach. And it and it it'll just go a long ways of what I'm gonna do in my success and people success. I think you would be a great speaker also. I think there's a lot of topics you could talk about and even your own experience of overcoming so much and motivational speaking. I think you'd make a great speaker. So if anyone's out there and they need a speaker, Charlie is your man because I think yep. he has a lot of great stuff that he could share with an audience and he's very inspirational. He's come a long way and he's overcome a lot of obstacles in his life, you know, and uh, with, you know, with his condition of Asperger's and how he overcame it and how he moved along and didn't let anything stop him and how he's become a success in his life. You know, he could, he's an inspiration to many people out there. So if you want yep. a great motivational speaker, Charlie is your man. Now, Charlie, where can we find you? So you mentioned that there are certain air, certain places. What social networks can we find you? And you also said that y people can contact you by your email address. Can you share your email address with us? Yes. So my email uh, email address is going to be it's going to be my first name dot dot my last name. So it's going to be Charlie dot. Bartel and it's not Bartel drugs, so it's not too out. <laughs> and people people get confused by that, but but my last name is spelled B A R T E L. So, and the domain is to so my email is at outlook dot com. Okay. So, that's my email. And the platforms I'm on that I'm available is I'm on LinkedIn. You could definitely search me up on LinkedIn. I, I have my profile picture on there. Talk to information about me, just what I've mentioned, uh, just my about myself, just everything about myself. So and I am I'm also on YouTube. So you could just search up my you could just search up my first name, last name, and I'll have my profile picture. Feel free to feel free to do so if you want to watch my videos. What I've been posting, uh, I haven't been really posting actively, but but I'm still actively posting on my channel. So, but if you definitely support the channel, for, that's great. But if not, then so be it. So, and the last platform I'm on is is Matchmaker. So definitely, you can you can definitely message me. Same thing. My my name's on there, so so if you want to do a podcast with me, feel free to do so. I'm I am definitely available to do so, and I'm always there's always a lot of people always trying to connect with me, so trying to create opportunities for me, and I'm creating opportunities for them. Like I said, so yeah. Now I've repeated it every time, but I'm just trying to make sure that really you understand that I do that I try to try to be the better the best version of myself even in hardships so that's what matters I think I think that's an important message because you know no matter what we go through in life you know we have to be the best of ourselves and you know and everybody has the ability to do that and you are a true example and I commend you for that. And I just want to say, Charlie, thank you so much for coming on the show today. I love talking to you. You always have of such course. great advice and you're so motivational. And I'm so proud of you for, you know, you've come such a long way. You overcame a lot, you know, and it's not easy. You know, I, I'm, you know, just like right. you, I, you know, you have Asperger's, I have epilepsy, you know, when you have any kind of condition, doesn't matter what it is, you know, it's hard, you know, sometimes to get through some of the rough patches in life, but with, with determination, with resilience, with a plan, like you said, an objective, mm -hmm. a plan and really working on yourself and most of all, taking action, you could accomplish anything. So you could make your dreams a reality. It's possible yep. for anyone 
everybody. And Charlie is an example. And, you know, so if anyone wants to, you know, reach out to him, even for advice or some motivation or, you know, just, you know, he's here for you. And, you know, he is, you know, willing to help anybody who wants to be helped. So Charlie, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It's been a pleasure like always. And remember, Charlie has a podcast with us. If you'd like to visit his podcast, you just type in his name and his podcast will pop up all over the place and you'll get to see his episodes and his inspiration and, and his great advice. So Thank you again, Charlie, for being on the show. And I look forward to our yeah. next Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have one more to say. So okay. here's here's my last, here's, here's my last thing. And this is what my boss always says. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's change the world and reshape our future. Yes, 100%. That's what we say I all the time, so... So, so definitely always say that to yourself and all, and honestly, always say to yourself, just keep moving forward because you're, you're always going to, you're always going to find a way. So yes, a hundred percent. So true. Thank you so much, Charlie. I look forward yep. to talking to you soon. You have a great day. Yes, you too.